We are now joined by Mark May, Pittsburgh Hall of Famer, part of the greatest Penn State rivalry they ever had at the University of Pittsburgh. And Mark, uh, to inform the viewers, you have flown cross country to get the ESPN, so this is really the, your first time dealing with the Joe Paterno uh, situation. The firing of Paterno, McQuery allowed to coach on Saturday. Your thoughts of the last 72 hours? Well, if you're going to fire the president, you're going to fire Joe Paterno. You've got to fire everybody. And I have no idea why Mike McQuery is still on this staff, why he's on, on the sidelines, or he's allowed to even be around the university. This is the reason why. Everybody says he was a grad assistant when this took place in 2002. No, he wasn't a 21-year-old. He was a 28-year-old man, not a young adult. And he saw an older man commit a sexual act against a 10-year-old and did nothing about it. Did not confront Jerry Sandusky, did not argue with him verbally or physically to stop this. He walked away and went home and talked to his dad about it and then decided to see Joe Paterno the next day. You talk about building character at Penn State, where's the integrity in that? And he's not allowed to only coach on the sideline Saturday. He's been allowed to be there since 2002 as an assistant coach. Look, I was recruited by Penn State as, as a high school player. I've always loved Penn State and respected Joe Paterno. But they've got to start living by their model. They are not the rule. They are the exception. And as long as Joe Paterno's been there, they talked about character. They talked about integrity. Even in their Penn State fight song, Penn State Forever, Molder of Men. Well, where is that integrity now? When you let a player that is a former player like Mike McQuarrie as a coach on the sidelines still be on the sidelines for another game, much less another minute, I think that that strikes a signal that this board of trustees and its coaching staff still doesn't get the point. This is much bigger than football. This is much bigger than sports. This is much bigger than Joe Paterno. This is about the integrity of our youngsters and your university and how you're going to stand up and fight for it to get it back and gain it back. Until you draw the line in the sand and get rid of everybody, Mike McQuarrie included, and probably the entire staff, you're not going to start to begin to lay the new foundation around Mount Nittany and Penn State. Mark, in the wake of this scandal and, and feeling the passion in your voice, should Penn State even be playing football Saturday? Well, it's all about money, and that's the bottom line. And they shouldn't be playing because if you're talking about integrity, about the game of football and about sports and the NCAA where it's about the student athlete, well, this is outside of the realms of that. This blows us right out of the water. Why would we even be talking about a football game right now? We're talking about our children, our kids. We're talking about a sexual predator that you not only let stay on your staff, but let come back to the university and work on your grounds and have an office there up until last week, and he was on campus last week. I don't think you get this. And I think the thing is with these students and everybody out there saying, well, Joe Paterno, you're the board of trustees, well, gosh, they were wrong. Think about this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Think of what we knew just five days ago when Jerry Sandusky was arrested and Tim Curley was arrested. We knew that then. Think about 48 hours ago when Joe Paterno was just mulling around stepping down at the end of the season. Think about 24 hours ago and less than 24 hours ago that they fired Joe Paterno. Think of what we don't know. What are we going to know in a week from now? What are we going to know in a month from now? There is so much more that's out there that we don't know. Do you really think this is going to get better? And for the Board of Trustees unanimously sending that message to fire Joe Paterno, that tells me there is more on the board and there's more on the table that they know that they're not telling us or telling the public. Because you're telling me after 61 years, there's not one person on that Board of Trustees that would stand up and say, gee, I think we should keep Joe. 61 years, not one? Unanimously, 100% gone. Uh, this, this is not uh, tattoos. This no. is not a, a Ponzi scheme, as this you said. This is about life. It's about our children. And for anybody to take anything more than that, you know, if you're going to go out and protest for Joe Pond the Street students, you know, carry a candle. Sing the Penn State fight songs. But you know what? Think about the victims in this. Over the years, there's not just eight. This is going to accumulate. I can guarantee it. And I'm speaking from my own opinion on ESPNs. I can guarantee there will be more because you think that just stopped on that day, Mike McQuarrie, that you saw it just once. Obviously not. And for you not to stand up, what, what is it? In, in my DNA, and I think yours also, I would have done something about it on the spot. Whether Penn State fired me or not, as a man and a human being, if I saw an older man assaulting a 10-year-old, I definitely would have jumped in there and done something about it, either vis uh, verbally or physically. I just don't get it. And you're supposed to be a leader of young men at this institution, and they're going to keep you there as a coach, and you did nothing but go home, tell your dad? Well, this is uh, it's a, it's an awful situation. Penn State will somehow try to play a football game Saturday against Nebraska. Still to come, much more from Penn State, including what kind of team will Penn State be able to put on the field Saturday against Nebraska. Stay with us.
Developing story here on College Football Live. This from the Penn State Board of Trustees. They have asked the university to keep Mike McQuarrie, the assistant coach and center of the child sex scandal, off the field during Saturday's game against Nebraska, 12 noon on ESPN. This according to one of the trustees. So a developing story. Uh, we just heard your thoughts on Mike McQuarrie and what happened in 2002. Joe Paterno was fired. McQuarrie, Mark, allowed to keep his job, just not allowed to be on the field. Uh, it's, it's probably legal ramifications because it's either that or it's CYA. And, and it's, it's really disgusting to me that you would even have this person around your program, much, much around your university. And for you to go and just take him off the field while he's still being paid, I understand the legal ramifications of this, but this doesn't send the right signal. Not only keep him off the field, get him away from your program and your university. Because everybody out there is looking at you right now, Penn State, and they're deciding, you know what? Maybe all the things that you preached over the years, you're not living up to those great expectations that you're preaching. All those kids out there that may go to Penn State down the road, and the students that are there now, and some of the athletes that may go there, I bet you they're rethinking that right now because everybody's looking at you, all eyes are on you. How do you react to this situation? And over the next days and weeks and months, people are going to have you under the microscope. And if you don't act the right way, I think that this is big trouble for Penn State University. And I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'll bet you in weeks and months, we're talking about this. When this case goes to court, this is going to be frontline news for ESPN yeah. and every major news organization over the next few months. According to Joe Shad, Joe Paterno has said he will not show up at Beaver Stadium on Saturday against Nebraska. Doesn't want to be a distraction. Action. It doesn't want to overshadow the coaching staff there. The game will be played at 12 o'clock. The Nebraska officials somewhat concerned about their safety with the riding that happened there last night. But it's now Tom Bradley's job as the interim head coach to uh, get his team focused and play a football game against Nebraska. How big of a challenge will that be for Bradley? Monumental. Because every player right now is being asked questions by every student on campus, every relative, every parent. Every media organization, wherever you go, do you think they're asking about the Nebraska game? This is what really irked me about the press conference with the Board of Trustees. The first question that was asked, it wasn't about, you know, how about the victims? Have you found out about the victims? Are they being taken care of? Are they being talked to? The first question that was asked is, who's going to coach Saturday? Are you kidding me? Is that still the mentality in State College, Pennsylvania? You know, worrying about this game and down the road, I, I think that's minuscule to the major problem here in, in society. You know, worrying about this game on Saturday, it doesn't matter. For Tom Bradley, it's monumental for him because these kids mentally won't be focused. They won't be prepared. I don't care what you say. You've got a new coach. You went there to play for Joe Paterno. All of a sudden, this thing blows up. It's a catastrophe. How can the players really, legitimately focus on this game, particularly between now and Saturday and during the game? It's going to be nothing but a huge distraction for each and every player and each and every coach. You know, Tom Bradley says he has not been to sleep yet. He is, uh, you know, talking to the captains, trying to work on a game plan for Nebraska. So, and, oh, by the way, uh, today is Thursday, and they're still working on a game plan. Today is Thursday, and interesting enough, Las Vegas, uh, they moved the point spread of the game, and then they took the game completely off the board, which is no real surprise. No, not at all. In, in this situation, you can't even worry about that. You know, right now for Penn State, I said it before, you look at the bigger picture. You look at the relationship that you have with the community and the rest of this country and how you portray yourself as a university first and a sports and an identity and football team second, third, and fourth. Right now, this is about the name of this university. And it's a scandal. This is the biggest scandal for college athletics and for football in my lifetime. Oh, yeah. And I'm over 50 years old. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything close to this. All the stuff that's happened this past year with Ohio State and Boise State and Auburn, that's nothing compared to this. Finish school. Minister School, as you said, uh, aptly said, this is about uh, kids, this is about life, this is about real stuff. Uh, Mark May, uh, great stuff, Mark. A lot more still to come on the latest from Penn State as we roll along here on College Football Live.